Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons Late Night. Uh, I'm Landros and this is episode 16. As you can see, we're about to have a little outbreak from our little baby Kyle. Um, yeah, let's see, who's going to get up? I guess we ought to have at least go ahead and get up. I know she's exhausted, but let's get her up and have her come on over here and take care of him. And I also want to do this for a couple of reasons. I want her to go ahead and give Kyle a bath and change him because I haven't seen that yet. I haven't used it yet. Oh, Jupiter's going to come over and do it. Can you do all this? Probably so. Yeah, you could have changed it. And you could have done all of it, but that's okay, Jupiter. You go ahead and go on back to bed. Uh, you can't sleep right now. That's okay. What do you need? Oh, you're kind of you're kind of ready to go to the bathroom anyway, so let's go ahead and take care of you too. Go ahead and use the bathroom. All right, Elise. What are you doing? Bye, guys. She lost her mind. Okay, let's go ahead and let's give him... Let him eat. Let's go ahead and give him... Oh, did I just not let him eat enough? Of course not. Please tell me it filled. Okay, good, it's full. Alright, so she's going to go ahead and give him a bath. This is so great. I'm so glad they finally did this. Oh, poor little guy. But everything else is fine. He just doesn't like it. <laughs> Poor thing. All right, let's see. What else does she need to do for him? Oh, everything else is good. So why don't you go ahead and you can play with him a little bit. Snuggle. All right. You can play with him more. Snuggle. And then go put him in the crib, and then I'm going to let you go on back to bed, because you are worn out. Oh, no, don't want to turn that off. Okay, let's go ahead and sleep. What are you doing? Why do you, why do you keep dropping him on the floor? All right, Josh. Is, okay, Josh and Lola Bell, you guys are gonna be out for a while. Matthew, you're gonna be out. And Jupiter, let's see. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go read? No. Why don't you go downstairs and get something to eat, and then take a shower? Um, because I think you gotta go. No, you don't have to do anything today. Go ahead and eat your waffles. Go on upstairs. And let's see. Let's get your shower taken care of. And then tell you what, what musical instruments do you already have out in your house? You got the piano. You can actually learn the piano. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, you can jam on it. So far, so good. The baby's taken care of. Everything's good, except he's just tired. And he will have to go to the bathroom soon, but that's all right. At least you're good. All right. Yeah, I need to get them off of the online deal. I really do, but now the butler's attracted to both Matthew and to Josh. That could create drama in the house, so, you know, that's kind of cool. All right, Lola Bell. Not too bad. Why don't you go ahead and take a bath? And then when you're done with that, while you're in here, go ahead and use it. Okay, where's Camilla at? Is she in here yet? She's probably downstairs cooking, if she's shown up yet, which she has not. Oh yeah, there she is. She's taking out the trash. So Camilla, where are you at? Um, there you are. Now she's gonna actually start making some uh, some stuff for us to eat. Which, oh the bell. Wow, some heavy makeup on, I guess. Okay, Josh, are you up yet? No, nobody's up. He's going to go do this film address, and I don't think anybody works today. Yeah, let's see. Lola, you've got six days. Matthew has one day. Elise has three. Josh has one. Jupiter, you go to school tomorrow. Yeah, this is such a easy thing for all of you guys. Um, Who broke what? I don't know who broke it, but please fix it. It's probably the maid, or the, the butler. Yeah, the butler did it. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so you're going to go ahead and take care of that. Let's see what kind of wishes we have. You want to go to a movie. Oh, you also need to finish learning how to drive. But let's see what time the movie starts over at the theater downtown. Because I think on Sundays it's early. I don't know, I can't remember. Um, let's see, next show is at 12 o'clock. Okay, so you're actually, you got to come on down. So let's go ahead and send you down to the theater. By the time you get here, 
you know, it, it may actually be ready for the movie to start. Okay, Matthew, you want to improve your writing skill, so, and then you want to improve your cooking skill. Well, that's really not a whole lot for you to do, but we're just going to go ahead and have you write. Oh, you got to repair it? Maybe the butler will. I don't know, do we have any other, yeah, we got another computer over here, so go ahead and use this one while you're waiting. And we'll go ahead and start a, hmm, I don't know. Let's go ahead and start a sci-fi novel. Whatever you start is fine with me. Lola, knock it off. Okay. Actually, there's really not a whole lot you need to do. You want to move into a penthouse? I don't think so. Your house is nice. You can woohoo with your husband. Um, jam with another sim and have a great group outing. Well, we didn't do that. So there's really not a whole lot I can have you do. At least you just need to reach the top of your career or the next level. And Josh, Josh, you need to go read a pregnancy book and you need to write a book. You're not moving into a penthouse, but you're going to go film that address, which you're doing right now. Okay, uh, let's go over here to Jupiter. Jupiter, stop. I didn't let you stop uh, doing that, so that's my fault. I'm sorry. Let's get you over here, go to Tim's movie, and then that'll take care of that wish for you. When you get done, and hopefully Josh will be done, we'll finish teaching you how to drive, and we'll get that out of the way. And then we'll pillow fight with Josh, and that'll really take care of it. Elise has received an invitation to Moxie Logan's upcoming party. Um, it'll be tonight at 5.38. We're going. I didn't check to see if it was formal or what. doesn't really matter. Okay, that sounds like a good title to me. Matthew, just do your best. All right, did the butler make food? No. Did the butler repair the computer? No. Is the Okay, the butler's making beds. All right, well, I guess that is what you're supposed to do. Lola, I'm going to let you go ahead and do that. A formal dance is happening. Okay, we do need to take care of him and make sure he has clothes for that, which they're actually going to be gone for a while, so it's not too bad. Um, Lola, there's really nothing else I can do with you. What's your lifetime wish? You want to reach level 10 in the music career rock branch. How far are you up? Oh, you're at level 9. I don't know what level or what branch you're in. You want to attend the master class of the movie Cineplex. Let's see if we can do that. Hopefully you won't go into labor before. Let's see, you can only do that between 5 and 9, so... All right, we got to hopefully remember that. Let's see if there's any other opportunities that I'm missing. Nope. Matthew, you don't have any opportunities. Elise, you do. You want to work out using the stereo or the TV. Okay, we can do that. Where are you at? You're sleeping. Okay. Change the dirty diaper. Didn't it already get changed? Yeah, it did. Okay, so Elise, you don't have to change the diaper. You just have to come over here and work out a little bit. So... Work out and do some cardio. This is the guy that needs to take care of a few things. He's got all these opportunities. Um, you're filming the address, which is good. You need to become best friends with, what's her name, Cressida. Let's go ahead and call her up a few times. Where's she at? Cressida. Man, she'll probably be all the way at the bottom. No, no. Of course she is way down here. Come on, woman, where are you? Okay, that's not her. There she is, as low as you can go. So let's go ahead and chat with her a little bit. I don't care if you're hungry, unless you're about to starve. I'm gonna just line you up here, let's see how bad are you. No, you'll be all right. Okay, so then this leaves us with poor old Jupiter, and you don't have anything you need to do. Okay, this little guy, he just needs to sleep. Elise, get on up. You don't need to sleep all day. It's almost 3 o'clock. You want to hug your husband? You can do that. What's he want to do? Meet someone new? Write a book? Oh, good. She wants to learn a new base composition. I could go take her over there after she's done. Um, actually, before she goes, why don't we take her over there and buy something at the bookstore because it's right there. It's right there next to the, or real close to the theater. So let's go over here to the bookstore. We could have done it on the multi-tab, I know, but since we're going to be down here anyway, we might as well do it. 
All right. Lola's got her base skill up to eight. Josh, are you still at the movies? No, you're at the city hall. Okay, why are you standing? Are you in the rain? You should be underneath something, so you shouldn't be dripping. I don't know why. That's all right. Okay. Jupiter's the one that's over at the movie theater. Okay. And that's where we're sending Lola Bell pretty much once she finishes up at the bookstore. And I think the bookstore is... Oops, it's right there. So that's why I figured it's right next door. You might as well come on over and do it. Lola, where you at? You're still driving? Gotta get you into a better car. That's not too not too great of a car for you. Okay. Oh, okay, Josh. You ran out of opportunities to talk with her. So she's gonna get mad at you if you keep doing this. Alright, let's go ahead and say no. Alright, what, what else do you have to do? Yeah, I know. She's leaving. She's going to work. Or going somewhere. You want to attend the book signing. Go do it. Let's get this out of the way. I just keep forgetting that they need to do all this stuff. Alright, so you went ahead and you... Okay, you need to use that. I'm sure that it's been 30 minutes. I'm pretty sure. But I'm going to wait at least a little bit longer just to make sure. There's Lola. She's making her way in there. Hopefully she'll get done before 5 o'clock so she can go to this class. And there goes Josh. Where? You? Oh, he's going to the same place. All right, guys, go ahead, finish up. We're just waiting. What does she want? A composition that will be under music. She wants a bass composition. What can we do? Hmm. Yeah, you could actually get this one, but I want to go for one. Let's see. Let's go for the first one. Level five is only a hundred. Take that one, and then we're gonna send you. Well, let's see, you can probably read it if you want. I don't think you have enough. Well, you probably do. You probably have enough time. Let's go down here and take a look. Let's learn the song, and then hopefully we can get you into this master class, and you'll be done. Yeah, you're close. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's having to practice it. Let's speed her up real quick. All right, there you go. You got the master class thing there. Josh, what are you doing? You're still attending that. Matthew. Matthew's writing his book. No, you're not gonna watch. Alright, poor little Kyle. We can't leave Kyle out. We gotta go over here and take care of him because Oh man! Elise. Yeah, you need to take care of that first. Um, Matthew, you're right here. Why don't you take care of your kid? Let's go ahead and let's um give him a bottle before the maid or the butler comes in there and takes care of it. Oh! Jupiter, get out of here. Yeah, shoo him out. And go ahead and use this shower. Alright. What's wrong with Kyle? Oh, okay, he's just hungry and he needs he needs some social interaction. Matthew, be a good daddy. Snuggle and play with your child. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Stop screaming. Okay, at least when you get done, you at least need to talk to the butler. Let's be friendly and let's do a friendly introduction. And let's go ahead and... Oh, no, you want to chat. I would do that. Ask for advice. And maybe you can ask her to cook. That would be nice. Okay. Somebody needs to finish up teaching Jupiter how to drive. Okay, Matthew, you... Looks like... Well, no, you don't need to do it. It needs to be either Lola or Josh. Josh, go ahead and come on home and you can do this. Okay, I guess you got to get done with that first before you can do anything else. There we go. Oh, we got 3,000 for that. Okay, let's go ahead and come on home, teach him how to drive. I know you're hungry, but it shouldn't take too long. Alright, Matthew's not making a whole lot of money on that book. Okay. At least good. At least you guys are making friends. You can actually chat and get to know her. Because if you don't do this, they will actually quit. And they won't tell you, they just walk out. Okay. Mm. Yeah, okay, let's see. Funny. Okay. We did tell her to go cook, didn't we? Alright. Let's just get to know her. Whether she, te whether she cooks or not, it doesn't really matter. Because I don't think it's too big of a deal. Um, 
Learn. That'll work. Angu, uh, Novo. We get to know her? Yeah. Let's just chat again. Mm. Okay, poor Josh. He's hungry. Got anything in your inventory to eat? No. Of course you don't. Lola, you're going to finish up and go on, come on back home. Okay, ever ch ever consider changing your clothes once in a while? There are a king's ransom of options to explore in your current getup as well used. Um, yeah, that is true. Uh-oh. Lola's getting ready to have the baby. I knew it was coming. I just didn't know it would be coming this fast. Alright. Lola, where are you at? Nobody's here to help you. Alright, so I guess... Oh, and you, you didn't even finish the class? Oh, man. Of course not. Alright, so let's go ahead and get you over to the hospital. And Josh, you're going to end up leaving and coming on over anyway, aren't you? No, probably not. Let's go see if you're actually working on this. And how much longer he has to go. No, he doesn't have much further. He's about halfway up. Okay, I'm betting we're going to have a girl. That's my my gut feeling. Bridgeport's pretty. Okay, let's go back over to see where Lola is. She is almost at the hospital, actually. And she's driving herself. I bet she's cursing Josh, Josh every minute of the, the entire drive. Get on over there, and let's see what we get. Who's this? Wogan Hemlock. Dag, dag. Yeah, hello to you too. Okay. Oh, okay. He's upset because she's pregnant. Well, you know, she's taking care of it, so don't worry. Alright, Elise, you're going to go get something to eat finally. Well, you know, I guess we should have had the butler making dinner. Normally, that's what the butler does. They come, they just do nothing but cook. So far, this one has not been really a big cooker. Matthew, let's see, you're taking care of your baby. Well, that's good. At least he's done. And I do need to actually take care of, um, well, no, everything is good. I don't have to worry about anything yet. And Kyle, you've got two more days. Oh, yeah, I think my age has got reset to the standard. And let me just double check. I'm just curious because I... I thought it was different, but I think it all got back to its normal setting. No, it's back. It's 2 to 4. Okay. So there we go. I had to update the driver in my video card, and for some reason it just reset everything. Okay. You need to go ahead and go on home, because you got school tomorrow. Okay, Josh. Oh, he's on his way over. Okay, that's why they, they didn't finish the driving. All right, we missed you at the party, Elise. Oh, that's right, you were supposed to go to a party. We didn't do it. We're too busy having children. Okay, it's another baby boy. All right, so let me see. I gotta think of what I'm gonna call this baby boy. All right, so I think we're gonna go with Ian. That'll be his name. Okay, and Ian is gonna get loves the outdoors and friendly. Um. Bridgeport's not really the best place for Loves the Outdoors, so let's see what else we get. Loves the Cold Couch Potato. No. Friendly and Perceptive. Brave and the Slob. Okay, looks like we're getting the same things over and over. Um, I actually liked that one before. I should have kept it. No, no, no. I like this one. Friendly and Virtuoso. Okay, so here we go. We've got another baby. Let's see if we can get in there a little bit closer. Come on, Lola Bell, where are you? Don't give us. And there we go. I know it's a little dark outside, but you can tell he's uh, he's taken more after her skin tone. So, very nice. And at least they're going to be really close in age, so that's good. Alright, so, Ian... Let's take a look at what you need to do. Let's see. Oh, you're good. You just need to go to sleep. So we'll get you to sleep as soon as we get home. Josh will get you something to eat. And Lola, you need something to eat. Then you guys will be fine. Matthew, uh, what are you doing, Matthew? Oh, you're bathing. Okay. And then you need to eat. So you guys will all pretty much take care of yourselves. Oh, wait. It's dark. Why is it dark? Did I not put lights on over there? Let me go double check. Chances are I didn't. But I didn't do anything. This is just something I added to the... To the room. I didn't change anything else. Oh, I turned all the lights off. 
Uh, hello. Turn them all on. Okay. Now he's not so upset. Now, auto lights. All lights. Matthew, don't complain. Just go eat. There's food in here, I'm sure. No, there's not. All right, so go ahead and have a quick meal of cereal. Where is the butler? Where is the butler? The butler's probably asleep. Um, somebody's got food over here and it's just sitting there doing nothing. And we'll put it away because otherwise we'll lose it. Seriously, where is the butler? I don't know. But I see Lola's outside already. So Lola, go ahead and come on over here and put Ian in the crib. And then you can go ahead and have some of those, some of that mac and cheese. Josh, you can act actually come in here, eat the mac and cheese as well. And then you need to go take a shower. You guys aren't really that tired, but it is kind of late. Oh, wait, that's right. This is Bridgeport. So let's see. Um, oh, maybe the butler. Oh, no, there's the butler. What are you doing? Why don't you go ahead and ask her to cook? Seriously. Butler, do what you're supposed to do. Okay, it is helping on her charisma skill, which we needed to work on that with Matthew, which I didn't do. Yeah, where's his job? Yeah, that's horrible. Horrible. So, yeah, I need to actually do that, but completely forgot. Alright, Matthew, go ahead and clean that up. You really don't need to go to bed right away. You could actually listen to the charisma skill. And math, uh, let's see, Elise, your job, I think you've got everything. Oh yeah, you're good. You don't really have to do anything at all. Um, you need to actually swim for about 30 minutes. Do you have to go to work tomorrow? No, you got time. Guess what you're going to go do? I know it might be cold, but you're going to go swimming. Even though your baby's about to start crying. So Matthew, you're going to go take care of Kyle. Alright, what's wrong with Kyle, though? Kyle needs... Oh, he needs to be changed. So Matthew, let's go ahead... Oh, that's Ian. Alright, go ahead and change that diaper. And then you can snuggle, you can play with him. And you might as well give him a bottle, even if he's stuffed. No, he's not stuffed. Oh, okay, look at Jupiter. He is a little man on the spot right here, isn't he? Okay. Good, Jupiter. You know, don't let the mohawk fool you. He is he is right on top of it. Alright, Elise, swim. No, you're not supposed to lounge. You're supposed to swim. I forget that they have all this over here. Which I do like, but we haven't used. Of course, we couldn't see the hot tub because of the, um, the snow on the ground. So, or could we? I can't remember. Swim here. Swim here. Woman, you in that base. Oh yeah, they were. They were in the hot tub. We saw it. What am I thinking? What are you doing? Oh, you're going to be asked to watch the stars. Okay, well that's a good thing. You guys can take care of that You're all on your own. Well, so far the butler has really not brought a whole lot to the house. And I'm kind of disappointed. Um, let's see, you want to snuggle Ian? Yeah, you can do that. Anybody else have anything they want to do? Become good friends with Camilla? You can try it. Jam with Camilla? Why not? Uh, let's see. He wants to eat at the bistro. What's this? Pick up Ian? Well, that's better than reading the book, so well, let's go ahead and do that. And you, my friend, need to learn how to drive, but you really need to go to bed, which you are doing. And the kids, they are good. Alright. At least, I think you have done your 30 minutes. I think you have. Now all you have to do is jog. It's a little bit late at night, so I don't think I'm going to make you go jogging. Well, actually, you're not too tired since you did sleep all day. But, mm, you could go jog for 30 minutes. Let's go do it real quick. Let's go, let me get up into map view. We're going to go down to this, this end of the street, if you can. I don't think you can. Oh, you can. But you can't jog. Oh, you got to get out of the pool. Well, hello, get out of the pool. By the time we do this, it's time for you to go to bed. Get up, get out of the pool. Alright, can you jog? Yeah, jog here for 30 minutes. It's 3 o'clock, so at 3.30 you got to go back and go to bed. Matthew, go to bed. I think you're going to work soon. Not tomorrow, maybe. Okay, wait a minute. You don't have to jog. You're done. So you can go on to bed. Get you guys back on a good night's sleep. 
and somebody needs to go check the gifts out here because we do need those. Um, Josh, what are you doing? Are you sleeping? Oh, he's in the hot tub. Get out of the hot tub. Are you working tomorrow? No. Josh, you can go over here and accept the gifts. Lola Bell, I bet you... Yeah, you're tired. You ought to go to bed. All right, Josh, come on in. Where are you at? Oh, you're going the long way. All right. Got to get you guys back on a regular setting because a regular schedule because right now this is awful. You guys are sleeping all night or all day long. If you didn't have jobs, that'd be one thing, but you do have jobs, actually. All right, let's see what we got here. Whoa, got quite a few. From DeafBell87, we got... 400 simoleons. Thank you very much. And yes, I can send something back. Fantastic. I'm going to send you something. I hope it's worth more than 400. Hopefully it's good. Okay, from X Alley Cat X. Happy New Year. Keeping my fingers crossed you get that car soon. Loving your LPs. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see what we got. Well, we got a beverage maker and we can use that too. So thank you very much. I'm going to send you something back. And if you get the car, please let me know. Okay. Let's see, from Sharon Edvy 31 we are getting Opposite Personality. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to send you something back from uh, Supernatural as well. And yes, we want to send this gift. I think I can send two more. From Kiwi Mark, here's a little gift for you, my friend, and Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's been a while since I've accepted gifts. I had a lot of issues with my internet. I'm so sorry. Okay, we got the blushing torch. Okay, that's very nice. We're going to send that back. Yeah, for some reason, my internet was just, it slowed to a crawl. I was very surprised I could get anything out as far as uploads. It was pitiful. From Carol the Pirate, what do we got here? We got the commercial planter. Yes, we're going to send something back. All right. And let's see what we got here. I thought I clicked it. Okay, I think that's my last one. And I've got quite a few more but right after I film this episode I'm actually going to be filming um, I believe my generations LP and I'm really trying to get a car for that family so I'm gonna hold on to the rest of you guys and if you're watching generations maybe you'll be in that one but thank you all so much for the gifts I do appreciate it and Josh you have finished up why don't we go ahead and get you upstairs when Lola Bell gets upstairs did we get rid of those tattoos I don't think we did yeah, I think she's still got tattoos all over. Which is fine, but it's not probably the tattoos I would have... Well, yeah, they're okay. Not probably the ones I would have chosen for her. I think it'll look kind of silly when she's an elder. She's got those tattoos on, but maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe maybe she'll look good. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's got commitment issues, and fortunately he's past becoming an adult, so we don't have to worry about the midlife crisis. Now, I thought about... Oh, man, Ian... Oh, good. Oh, no, I thought the, the woman, you listened to him cry, and now you're going to leave. Poor Jupiter. i got to be good to Jupiter, because this kid, he is amazing. As soon as that baby cries, of course, he's in the same room, so he's obviously going to wake up. But he's he doesn't get upset. He doesn't scream. He just goes over there and takes care of it. And he doesn't seem to mind one bit. Oh. So, kid, you're going to get, if we do get a car, you're going to get the nice one. All right, so let's see. Everybody else is good. They're asleep. They're asleep. He's asleep. And how's his needs? Yeah, he's good. He's pretty good. Uh, Jupiter, why don't you go ahead and feed him real quick? No, don't, go to, don't do that. Go ahead and give him a, well, you need to do the bathroom first and then come back and feed him. Otherwise, you're going to be right back up. Okay, he lost a friend from neglect. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. Okay. You get that taken care of, give him a bottle, and then you go on back to bed. And then hopefully that butler will do something. Otherwise, butler, I don't know what use you are. See, it's actually going off, but a little bit too late. All right, so she got some points. Oh. Oh yeah, now that the baby's all stopped crying and everything's back to normal, you're ready to come over here and... Oh no, you're going to make this bed. Okay. I was going to say. 
Of course, now you're going to go to bed. Yeah, I probably ought to, I probably ought to go back to my original plan and build them, build at least Jupiter a room downstairs. And I probably will, um, trying to figure out where I would put the staircase. So while they're sleeping, I'm going to go ahead and cut out of here for a minute. They're, they're going to be up pretty quick. And I'll be back when everybody's up and moving around. Be back in just a second. Okay, well, um, they're not up yet or anything, but at least just got sent a car from the fa uh, just for being a celebrity. So we got another car, and we got another hot tub, and we got a nice television, which I know exactly where I'm going to put it. Um, we also got a foosball table, which I know where I'm going to put that as well. I'm going to wake up Jupiter real quick. Oh, okay, he's actually getting up to go to school. Jupiter's getting his own bedroom real quick, and I need to wake him up and then let him come downstairs and let's see, go ahead and go downstairs and see if he can get into this room, make sure that there's no problems with it. All right, Jupiter, we need to follow you. But yeah, while they were sleeping, I went ahead and I tore out this bathroom that was right here. And I couldn't fit these, uh, I couldn't fit a regular set of stairs in here. So I actually took him, put these um, spiral staircase in and I built him his own little area down here. It's very plain. I didn't have enough to, I did have money to decorate, but I really didn't want to spend it just yet because I didn't know how much bills were going to be, so I kind of held off on doing all that. But as you can see, there's just this little open area right here, which I don't know what I'm going to do, if we're going to expand it any further, or if it's just going to be something for decoration. But I gave him this nice big room back here, and I got all this stuff. I think this is from the front row center, um, that pack. No, you're not going back upstairs, unless you're frozen. All right, looks like he's frozen. Come on back down here for a minute. I don't know why he's frozen. It's done this for the last couple of days. Okay, hang on just a second. Let me see if it'll come back. Of course, it came right back. All right, I want you to go ahead and just come back here and relax and make sure you can actually get in this room. Okay, the festival has arrived in town. Fantastic. Oh, of course, there's the bus, so he can't come down here. All right, he's going to go ahead and... But anyway, you can see that what I did is I just took stuff out from Lola's inventory. This is all of the band equipment and whatnot. No, you don't need to come on down here. You need to go on upstairs. Oh, I think I'm stuck again. Okay, he's on his way back up. All right, so anyway, I put everything down here, so that way he'll have stuff he can use. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm uploading a video right now, so that's why it's actually giving me this lag. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. I'll wait for that one to upload, and then I can actually continue on. But um, I think that's pretty much about where I wanted to stop for this part anyway. When we come back for the next episode, um, well, maybe not. Let's go ahead and see if it's going to let me do anything. No, it's going to it's going to still do this. So I'll go ahead and stop here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in a little bit. Oh, let me go ahead and just show you real quick before I leave. I put the lava lamps out here as well. I gave him um, basically this little drum set. It's all decorative, and he's got all the stuff that was in that bathroom upstairs that I tore out. I just put it down here as well. So that's all we did, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you again for watching.